there are a few ways you can back up your files in Windows 8.1. Very simply, if you have a folder with your files in it, I'm going to create a new folder here, and I'm going to call the folder data, and I'm going to put some dummy files in here. And I'm just going to put in text document, data1, and I'm just going to do a copy, right? Let's say this is my, my folder here. I'm going to create, inside of the data folder, I'm going to create new, I'm going to create another folder in here, and I'm going to call it legal docs, and I'm going to take a few of these files and put it in legal docs, and I'm going to create another folder, I'm going to call it sales docs, put a few of these files in the sales docs folder, I'm going to create another folder, and I'm going to call the folder employment docs, and I'm going to place a few of the files in the mdocs folder. So now I've got a folder called data, and inside of the folder I've got mdocs, legal docs, sales docs. And each of them have, you know, some files in it. Okay. Now, if I want to back this up, I can do a few things. I can take this folder, and I can copy it to a USB drive or a flash drive directly onto another disk, or another location, or another network location, or anywhere I choose. I can also, if this folder is large and it contains sensitive information, I can use to, I can go over to the folder, right click on it, go to properties. I can choose to change the security aspects of this folder and choose who has rights to it. Okay. I can go to the general tab of the folder, click on advanced, and I can choose to encrypt the contents of this folder as well. I can compress the contents of the folder to save the space associated with the files in that folder. So I can do all that. I can also use a command line tool to back up the files into a single file so that I can copy it over very, very easily to a different location. So if I right-click over here, create a new folder, and I call the folder Backup, okay. and I'm going to go to the command prompt, and at the command prompt, I want you to notice something. This says Administrator. I have to be at an Administrator command prompt to do what I'm about to do. If you don't get the Administrator command prompt, you may want to click on your start menu, type in CMD, right click on command prompt and select run as administrator. And that will give you the administrator command prompt. The reason I got the administrator command prompt immediately is because I am logged on as the administrator user. That's the reason for that. Also, if I click on the Windows menu, if I hold down the Windows key and the R key and I type msconfig and I press enter and I select tools and I select change UAC, user account control settings, and I click launch, I have brought this notification down to never notify. That way it will never ask me if I'm an administrator before I attempt to run something as an administrator. So once you change that setting and you log on as administrator or you push down on the Windows key, you type CMD, you right click on the command prompt and you select run as administrator, either of those things will allow you to run a command prompt as an admin. I'm going to then do a CD backslash data and now I am inside of the data folder, I just typed in CLS, and if I do DIR, I will see the same thing that I see in the data folder right here, the three folders that I have that I just created. Okay? There's a utility called DISM, and DISM allows you to back up your Windows data in a file very, very easily. I can use the DISM tool, and I can say DISM question mark like this and it will give me a list of options that I have and the option that I'm looking for 
is really called, in my particular instance, I'm going to be capturing an image and I'm going to be adding some data. Now if you look over here, if I go further down here, here's capture image. This is what I want. If I specify dism capture image question mark, down here it tells me what I need to do to create the image. Very easy. I'm going to go to my backup directory and let me go over to my backup directory over here and I'm going to type dism capture image. Image file is going to be called data backup dot whim capture dir equals c colon backslash data name data backup press enter and it's done here is my data backup dot whim this file right here contains all the files from my data folder I used this exact command line I just replaced it with my backup name I replace it with my capture directory. I, I am backing up C colon backslash data and I named it appropriate to what I was backing up and I was backing up data. So this is my Windows backup file. Very, very easily. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the C drive and here's my data folder and I'm going to highlight everything in the data folder and I'm going to delete it. Delete. Delete. Okay, so it's all gone. Now all I have is everything inside of my backup folder. I can then use the dism tool and I'm going to select mount whim. Okay. I'm going to use the mount whim option of the dism tool to mount my uh, file, my whim file. Windows whim file stands for Windows image and that's a Windows backup image. Let's take a look at how I do this. I'm going to do dism, which is deployment image servicing and management tool. Dism mount whim whim file colon data backup data backup dot whim. And I'm going to do I have only one backup in there, so my index is one, and my mount directory is going to be C colon backslash data. It's done. Now, when I go to the data directory, look, here are my files that are back. Wasn't that slick? And I can do that the same way anywhere. Okay. So this will allow me to prevent my files from getting lost, and it will make it possible for me to back up large streams of data from big locations, and it will compress them and back them up and allow me to mount them so that I can see them so that really they're never lost and they're secure. Very glad you're here to be able to see this.